Hi everyone, it's Sarira and I scribble and today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. I am going to show you what's in my pencil case and I actually have two here but I have a good reason for that. This, I'll start with this because it's really quick, it's a really cute pencil case with a mouse face on and it has two charms. It's a mouse, looks more like a bear though, and a little house. Ah, house mouse! I just got that and in this I only have one type of pen. And it's my Stabilo, uh, I'm sorry, Stabilo? Stabilo? <laughs> I'm not sure what's it, what it's called in English. And it's the Pen 68. I do have one 80, is it 88? Here, this one. Yeah, it's the 88, the fine point. These are more the felt tips. And I just keep all of these pens um, in here. Uh, so that's that with that pen case. I'm going to put that in the back, right over there. Here is the holy grail to all my drawings. My physical, traditional ones anyway. This is my pen case. I've had it since 7th grade, which makes it 12 years old. It's super good. It's a nylon fabric. It's really sturdy. I. Uh, it's, it's just amazing. It keeps my pencil safe. Um, and it's pretty small. But I don't carry a lot of stuff with me. Um, so here are all my pencils and utilities. And I guess I'm starting with this one because this is the one I use the very, very most. This is a Penac uh, mechanical pencil. It's the Chubby 10. And I've had it for like 10 years and they don't make them anymore. So I'm terrified that this is going to break. It's just a really good uh, mechanical pencil because it's a thicker kind. I have a <clears throat> Faber-Castell over here. You can see the thickness difference is uh, quite huge and I just like that because it feels a lot more comfortable in my hand. Uh, it has a very nice cushioned rubber grip and the point is actually also cushioned so you really don't have to worry about breaking your leads. It's an 0.5 millimeter lead. Uh, you load it by putting the leads in there and there's a twist up eraser like so. It's just, I really love this pencil, and I am terrified it's going to break one day, and I'm going to be devastated. <laughs> uh, next, I guess I can take all of these, because they're all the same. These are my um, color-coded, um, colored leads. I'm using Pilot's uh, NO leads in 0.7 millimeters. There is blue, purple, pink, and green. I have the refills here. Um, I've just started using these, so um, that's why I have those crappy pens for them. And But I love them, so I'm probably going to get proper pens. And what more do we have? I have two fine liners. One really old Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen. This is the SX, came in a set. This is the only pencil Pencil. This is the only fine liner that is still alive from that set. Amazing control. It has a very, very fine tip, as you can see. And then I have my other one, which is a lot newer. It's a Mitsubishi pencil, a Unipin fine line, and it's an 0.3. It's slightly thicker than the SX from Faber Castell. And it's just really cloud water and fade proof pigment ink. So yes, I use that sometimes. I have some regular pencils. Um, these two are just regular HB lead and then this one is a 3B by Stettler. And uh, I used these pens a lot when I was doing um, realistic portraits uh, of people because uh, pencil is a lot more easy to do uh, soft shading with than uh, a mechanical pencil. So yeah. I don't draw a lot with the regular pencil though. Most of the time I use my mechanical one. We have some erasers. This is a super battered and uh, butchered <laughs> Stettler eraser. Lauren, this one is also Stettler. These ones, I have uh, two other, one in pink and one in orange. They're really good. They erase really well and they um, they roll up the dust, the eraser dust, so it doesn't like go everywhere. It just turns into one um, piece, sort of, so you don't get it all over your desk. I have a pencil sharpener from Faber-Castell. It's super hard to read because it's super dirty, but it's by Faber-Castell. It's metal. 
It's really good. I want a new one though because uh, this one doesn't have a container so I always have to fold up a napkin or a piece of paper to catch the shavings in. Um, but it's a good one, which is why I keep it. And it's small, which is why I have it in my pencil case. Here are my LEDs. They are not Stettler. They're probably Pilot, but they're my 0.5 regular LED. Uh, LED. Uh, and uh, I just keep them in this Stettler case because it's so good. Like, you have no idea. It keeps them safe. It's super hard. Uh, there are no caps on it, so you can't, like, accidentally open it and spill everything into your case. And you just shake them down, and then you pour them out. I just really like it and usually I just pick up my pen and stick this into the pencil, shake a few out, and that way I don't have to worry about dropping the leads on the table or stuff like that. Now I can't see because I'm super far away from the... Um, we have my... Oh, I forgot this eraser. It's uh, pe by Pentel. Uh, just a thin eraser. I actually use these to refill, refill my um, Penac because it's the same size, so I just cut off a piece and put into that one, which is why I don't use this very often. Um, I tend to use the one on the pen the most. And I have a regular old Bic uh, ballpoint pen. I have this Red Pilot G2 pen. It's just um, your regular red ink pen. Um, I usually write down important stuff with it, do some accents or whatnot, um, but it's really good. And the ink flows really well, uh, so I like it. And then lastly we have this. This is actually really new to my uh, pencil case along with these um, those lids. Um, but it's a Sakura Jelly Roll and it's the white one. Um, and I really like it. Um, I'm still trying to learn how to use it properly. But I'm finding ways to use it, so it's really exciting to have one. So those are the contents of my pencil case, uh, along with this one. And I'm just going to put everything back again. Um, what are the essentials for your pencil case? Is there something you absolutely need to carry with you at all times? And if you don't have it, you go slightly crazy. Um, let me know in comments down below. I'd love to hear about the necessities you have and for your arting and uh, yeah so that was it for this video thank you so much for watching uh, as I said leave in comments down below what you carry with you what is essential to your drawing and um, I hope to see you guys soon bye